The post-processing toolbox can be activated from the icon in the panes toolbar and essentially comprises two main areas covering deform and contour tools. All the controls for setting up the type of plot are there, and full access is provided to the output data, such as all available output vectors. As you make various changes to the post-processing options in the tool, you can elect to have the graphics area update automatically or manually as desired. As you can see, you have full access to all the main options and settings that control the results plot, nodal or elemental, and as these are shell elements, you can select double-sided plots. You can very easily take advantage of any existing groups to help view the results on selected parts of the model as desired. The compactness of the user interface and the efficient way all of the post-processing options are displayed in the post-processing toolbox means that you don't have to remember or know where to find all the settings. This makes it much easier and quicker to set up the results plots that you desire. Besides the plotting options, you also have full access to all the settings for the levels themselves, including the number of levels, continuous color plots, and max-min results display. The same is also true for the legend. You can control its position on the screen, label coloring and display, and the overall size.